The first unit of CS212 uses poker as a vehicle to teach about the design of computer programs. If you don't know the rules of poker yet, don't worry. That's exactly what this video is for. Now, if all you know about poker is what you've seen on TV or in a casino, you may think it's pretty complicated. There's that intimidating green table, and it's surrounded by some very serious looking people. And these people often have very silly hats or ridiculous sunglasses. And they're saying things like, raise, or all in. Now, if you ever want to actually play poker, you're going to have to learn what all of this means. There's betting, there's folding, there's calling, there's raising. And it can get pretty complicated. There's a lot of strategy involved. But for the purposes of this unit, we only need to know the most basic aspect of poker. And this aspect is common to every single variation of poker. And that's how hands are ranked. Because at the end of the day, all of these different versions of poker have to do with making the best five card hand that you can. Now, these different hands each have different names, and there are nine of them. So let's talk about what each of these names mean. And since this class uses Python, I'll start my numbering at zero. The best hand, and this is one that you almost never see in poker, is the straight flush. And here we have a straight flush. The suit here is hearts. You can see every single card is a heart. And they are all in sequential order. Nine, 10, jack, queen, king. If you ever go into a uh, poker forum online, you would see these cards written as 9H, TH, JH, QH, KH, and that's the system we're going to use here. The next best hand is four of a kind. And here we have a four of a kind with four aces and a six. The six is usually irrelevant to this hand, um, but we'll talk a little bit about how to break ties in class. Next best is the full house. And a full house is just three cards of one rank, so here we have three tens, and two of another, so two twos. This hand is a full house that we would call tens full of twos. Next is the flush. And a flush is five cards of the same suit. And here the ranks don't matter. You can see we have a three, six, jack, queen, and king. But they're all of the suit spade. Next we have the straight. And a straight is just five cards in sequential order. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here the suit doesn't matter at all. We have a spade, a diamond, club, diamond, and another spade. Our next hand is the three of a kind. And three of a kind is just three cards of the same rank. So here, these three fours are what's relevant. The queen and the eight, again, in some special circumstances where we're playing with multiple decks, they may be used to break a tie. And again, we'll talk about that in class. Next, we have two pair. For example, a pair of jacks and a pair of nines would be two pair. The second worst hand is a pair. And a pair is just two cards of the same rank. Here we have two threes. The eight, five, two don't do much to help our hand here. Finally, we have nothing. Though we could also call that high card. Because when two people who have nothing show down their hands, the one with the highest card wins. Here we have king high, and this is really quite a bad hand. If you're ever in a casino, I wouldn't go playing this and expecting to win. And that's it. Those are our nine hands. Straight flush, four of a kind, full house, flush, straight, three of a kind, two pair, pair, and nothing. Notice that we've assigned them all a number, zero through eight. This is one of the numbers we'll be using in our poker program to compare hands. It turns out we'll need a few other numbers to distinguish between, for example, two full houses. Six versus six isn't adequate. We'll need to add some other numbers in there. But we'll explain that in class, and for now, you should understand the rules of poker well enough to follow along.